Hey, all you beautiful wine folks. I uh, wanted to talk to you about our Simeon. So we've got two tubes for you, tube one and tube two. And uh, go ahead and pour those in a little glass. And we're gonna talk about what we did here with these uh, wines. So the challenge we had with our Simeon uh, is we did many of the wines in the 2020 vintages. We had quite a bit of reduction that we fought for one reason or another. So if you wanna give these a smell, you'll notice the, the wine itself, tube one has a bit of a, uh, uh, what I would call vegetal aroma, something like canned corn, canned asparagus, uh, definitely something on the sulfide end. And uh, that's what happens when hydrogen sulfide, which smells like rotten eggs, stays in wine for a while. It starts to complex with other things in wine, whether it's methanol or ethanol, um, and they become these things called uh, mercaptans or disulfides. And they, they smell like, you know, things that come from things you're used to, like, you know, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, uh, asparagus, all those things kind of have some of those sulfur compounds in them naturally, which is great if you like those things, but probably not so great for your simeon. So then you smell your uh, tube number two, and you'll notice that the aromatics are, are, are vastly different. Um, got a lot more fruit, um, missing quite a bit of that uh, sulfitic aroma. So what did we do? Um, if you have hydrogen sulfide early on, hydrogen sulfide is really easy to get rid of. It likes to leave the wine. So simply racking the wine, getting the wine off the leaves, um, and treating that early on can help remediate that, re remediate that. So one of the things that we did with this wine is we did add some copper early on too, and copper is really reactive with some of these sulfides. But unfortunately, we didn't get rid of all of them and they, they complexed into that sort of vegetal state. So what we have to do when you smell these sulfide compounds is we have to go through a copper trial. So the first thing that we do is we want to take some wine and hit it with some copper right off the bat. And if the copper gets rid of that sort of vegetal aroma, that means that these are simple sulfides that react with copper. However, if uh, it doesn't go away, we have to take it one step further. We have to break those sulfidic bonds. We do that with a little bit of ascorbic acid. So we add ascorbic acid to the wine. So this one uh, has had a little ascorbic acid added to it. And then um, we add it with, hit it with copper second. So first step would be to try and hit it with some copper, just a couple drops of copper. If it clears it up, then we do a trial to see how much copper we need to add. And we'll walk you through copper trials at some point in time. And then, um, then the next thing we would, but then if the, if the copper doesn't work, then we have to go to ascorbic and copper. And in this instance, we had to do both. So this uh, tube two has had ascorbic acid added to it. It's then uh, been coppered. So we've added uh, about uh, 0.25 um, grams per liter of ascorbic acid and then 0.5 milligrams per liter. So only 0.5 or half a part per million of copper to the wine to uh, then uh, take those uh, sulfidic compounds that have been broken by the ascorbic out of the wine. So uh, that's uh, kind of how we approach this. And I think you can see how quickly and radically you can change a wine in pretty short order. Um, there's some other things we're gonna need to do to this wine still because I think the mouth feels a little lacking. Uh, we're gonna probably add some enzymatically activated yeast leaves to it, maybe blend a little bit of Sauvignon Blanc in it, pop the aromas. Um, but nonetheless, uh, primarily what we're looking at is that difference uh, in uh, sulfide uh, compounds. So uh, get to know that aroma of glass number one really well. And if you smell that in a wine, you go, oh, we well, gotta go work with something to do with copper and then uh, copper and ascorbic in this case uh, to break those, those bonds, then remove it with the, the, the copper sulfate solution. So uh, if you have questions, feel free to reach out. Cheers.